This is Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Uh, rotational motion is key to our patients and patients' function. What we want to look at today is look at the effect of through the foot, and we look at the superior tib fib joint and see how the mobility is. We're going to test it by palpating. So when we palpate the tibial, tubra, tibial tubercle, and then we're going to tibulate the fibula head, as he rotates to the right, you'll see superation of the foot, rotation here, and what will happen by, due to biomechanics is the fibula will go forward and come back. And then when we rotate to the other way, when it gets more pronation on this side, the fibula will go more posteriorly. So here's what it looks like. So we're going to come in, we're going to palpate tibial tubercle. We're going to palpate here the fibula head. Okay, we're going to say down this. Now what I want you to do is we're going to turn your body to the right. And we're going to follow. Normal mechanics is my fingers should get closer together. That's normal motion there. And then come back to the middle. Then you're going to rotate the opposite direction. And you'll see my, the distance between my finger, there we go, should get a little bit more. And that's normal mechanics. Come back. If somebody was restricted, we'll kind of pretend here, rotate to your right, just don't go very far, and all of a sudden it didn't move, we would not see these two points coming together. And we know there's a restriction of the superior tib fib joint when he does supination of the foot mechanically. So we could do, t clinically wise, we could actually take that motion and assist the motion, or we can go just a joint mob. So it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.